I have recently uploaded a video where I built an emulation station using a desktop board running Libreboot. The motherboard is a Gigabyte GA G41MES2L, it has a Core 2 Quad Q9500 and 4 gigabytes of DDR2 RAM. Nothing spectacular, but I can use it to emulate old consoles just fine. The problem is, I want to emulate PS2 games, and the onboard graphics just won't be enough. So I looked into the current state of GPU support under Libreboot, and unsurprisingly, I couldn't find much. Most people don't seem to care about Libreboot desktop setups for some reason, most people just seem to care about all ThinkPads, uh, which is all nice too, but uh, I mean, somewhat limited. I did find some old threads on the Triscoll forums where someone mentioned that Kepler GPUs should work fine. Sadly, I do not have a Kepler GPU and I don't want to spend money right now, so in my case I'll try installing this RX 6800 ST GPU that originally belonged to my work computer. Initially I tried installing Arch Linux, but for some reason the computer will just randomly shut down during the installation process. So I tried installing Debian and well, that actually worked, I mean I, it didn't shut down during the installation process, but I did have some issues after the installation. For some reason, LightDM failed to start. I tried using different display managers, but that did not work. I also tried not using a display manager at all and that also did not work. I wasn't really sure what to do now, so I simply started distro hopping and trying random things, and eventually it did work. I installed Manjaro and replaced LightDM with SDDM, and that actually worked just fine. Bien. Overall, I'm quite surprised by the results I've got, it's actually quite a decent computer, it's quite capable of performing modern tasks, even some rather heavy gaming with graphically intensive games, it's actually mind-blowing. The main issue with this board is of course the RAM. It's DDR2, so it's quite slow, and it only has two slots, so yeah. I think Libreboot supports a Socket 775 board that uses DDR3 RAM, but I just couldn't find one in my country, so yeah, this, this is what I had. 